Once again this year, Cooksville had an individual state champion. McKenna Cook dominated his match at 182 to defeat Christian Bledsoe of John Burroughs 11 to 2. I set goals for myself and I have to work to get those goals. I got second last year, so right now, I guess it, it, it had to, I had to set my bars a little bit higher this year to win it. The Tigers' Ethan Rentschler scored a come from behind win to finish third at 113 pounds. Yeah, it was real exciting and I really came back and really put some heart in it and ended my season well. Ditto, Logan Summers. Summers wrestled like he had a bus to catch as he pinned Bryson O'Callaghan in 42 seconds to finish third at 220. You know, I went out there and had a had a shot I wanted to get on him, and you know it, it got set up perfect. And you know straight to his back he went. And I was able to you know get control on top and just pinned him. The match at 170 was very entertaining. Kylan Easley would finish fifth in overtime. But it wasn't easy for Easley. He was down 3-1, but he made a better move than Beacons to tie it up. And then I just saw the high crotch, picked it up, couldn't get it quite picked up, so I stepped over the second knee, step over, and then finally I got into the shot and got my two. And here's something Ripley might not even believe. Crooksville's Brandon Beeler and Jordan Jones of Mexico squared off for the fourth time this year. Beeler lost, so he finished sixth, but he's ready to go back to work so he can keep up with the Joneses next year. Can't win everyone, so I guess I just need to learn from what I did wrong and look to improve next year. Well, I think we could have uh, easily been dismissed after losing the class that we did, but for us to come back and rebound and be right back in the mix of things, it's uh, really fantastic. Yes, it was. In Columbia, Fred Beck, KTVO Sports.